attend in hopping up through the back of the starting gates. They open. My Demi Dwelt went straight back. Back with it as well. Lord help me run. First to get going in Victus Domini and also Coley away smartly with Al Magico. They settled down a length clear from Misty Lad. Then came Gobella followed by Hipwiggle. Lord help me run back there in the inside of war class. Al Bacturi snag right out towards the tail end of the field early on and back last of all with it is My Demi. In Victus Domini held the front for Geordie Turner and as they scatter the gulls at the 800 150. It's Invictus Domini first up leading the way from Coley. Misty Ladd occupying third place a length and a half. El Magico didn't win the battle for the lead so took the trail and lob 1-1. A length away on the inside next is Go Bella followed by Hip Wiggle shading the grey. Lord help me run. Then War Class back there from My Demi in the tail ender is Al Bacturi. They go past the 400 here and about to set sail for the judge and on return Invictus Domini straightened up about a neck clear from Coley. Coley. Over on the inside is Misty Ladd and they're clear a length and a half El Magico followed by Hip Wiggle down to the 250. Coley comes at the leader in Victor's Domini El Magico. Misty Ladd go Bella right up along the inside with El Bacturi then Lord help me run El Magico from Go Bella getting through near the inside. They'll split it together but it's El Magico. El Magico given a sweet ride. Beats home Go Bella. El Bacturi threaded its way through traffic. Might be third just in front from Misty Ladd. Lord help me run. Then War Class followed by Invictus Domini Coley both weakening. Back there in the field is Hip Wiggle and My Demi has trailed them home. El Magico Shelby Botel takes out the eighth event of the day. Normally quick and uh, had the capacity there to burn them off but couldn't quite get there in front of Invictus Domini or Coley. So Botel just dropped in behind and uh, with that nice drop in the weights off of a good effort last start when only just touched off at York, El Magico, per medium of uh, a very, very good ride, has got home to win the eighth event of the day. For Ray Vincent, the Alma Her Gelding El Magico scores from Go Bella on return here this afternoon, cutting through near the inside, Adal Bacturi straightened up with the entire field in front of it and had to pick its way through the traffic to grab third spot in front of Misty Ladd, who battled after getting a good run all the way, and Lord help me run with Invictus Domini dropping out, as did Coley. A short neck, a length and a half of the official margins. The 1400 was covered in 123.16, home in 35.43. Al Magico raced by Mrs. D. Botel, by Al Maher from Blushville, trained by Ray Vincent, ridden by Shelby Botel and posts its fifth win from 31 appearances here this afternoon. Go Bella, the Blackfriars mare out of Black Carrot, Steph Bakrenich and Jason Whiting is second in, and third eight Al Bakhturi by Ifraj from Our Essence, Brad Parnham the rider for the Ganjimi Racing Stable. So uh, those leaders paddled up late, and uh, it was uh, Botel who had given El Magico a great ride throughout getting home to school. The last at 5.30, the Byron Bay Premium Lager Handicap, 2200 the trip, 12 and 13 out, our ideal, and also Art Admirer. As Britt joins us down in the yard after that 10 out of 10 ride. Absolutely. Perfect ride from Shelby Botel. Ray Vincent joins me now. Ray, congratulations to you, a family horse. So uh, an extra element of satisfaction, I'm sure, to see Al Magico back in the winner's store. Yeah, it is. Um, he's, he's just a nice horse to have around. He's pretty easy. Um, and he'll bob up every now and again like that and win his share of races, so it's good. And he's bobbed up at a nice price today. What do you think it was about today's setup that was suitable for him? Uh, a, a gun ride. Um, but with the rail out this far, that's probably the spot he needed to land in. If he, if he drew inside today and got held up on the fence, doesn't suit him, big horse to wind in it like, into like that, that's, that's the perfect scenario. Were they the sort of conversations you were having with Shelby leading into the race? Obviously, she knows him probably better than anyone. Yeah, that's, that's it. There's probably not too much of a conversation I need to have with her, but pretty much it was just to run through those sort of stock standard plans of he's best to come off the back of one like that, and it was more or less how close we could get to the lead and get him on the back of one. Um, and yeah, that couldn't have worked out any better. Rounding for home, seeing him starting to travel in. Were you confident at how he was going to run? 
Yeah, I, I'm confident in that. I'm, like the horse is in a really good frame of mind at the minute. So yeah, I was actually the way he came around that corner. I thought he'd hit the line really well. I know you're unstrapping duties, but I think Shelby's doing such yeah. a good job just turning around in circles there. I'll go let go let you grab him. Well done. Perfect. Thanks, Britt. There is Ray Vincent, Shelby Botel. Uh, well, she'd know this horse oh so well. Obviously, formerly in the uh, training of her father, but. Uh, Part of the furniture at home, I have no doubt, in Al Magico, and by the sounds, a pleasure to be around. So I think when Shelby was uh, coming into the winner's stall there, Scott, and she <laughs> saw Razor still being interviewed, she thought, oh, well, I'll uh, just jump off and lead him around in circles and wait. Exactly right. And we didn't get to catch Shelby for a word on Sunday because she uh, weighed out and then headed straight into the jocks room, Britt. So we'll ask her about Canto de Guerra as well, who was a nice winner up the 1,000 metres straight, which gives Ray Vincent and Shelby two winners in the last handful of days. So their team's going super. And, and they've got Act Innocent tomorrow. And just speaking to Ray, I was trying to ask him before uh, he had to go on strapping duties, but he said, well, the one I liked for this week is Act Innocent tomorrow. He said, I hope I haven't used all of my luck here in uh, Al Magico's victory. So hopefully that is not the case and the winning run can continue. Here's Shelby Botel. Well, the team's going super. Shelby, a winner on Sunday, but we'll start here. Al Magico, uh, Ray was saying, drawing outside today probably was a blessing in disguise for him. Yeah, definitely. Those couple that went forward, he was easy to slot in. And he seems to give a little bit more when he settles like that and gets a bit of cover. And now it's good. He's such a nice horse to deal with. We show all like him. Now it's good for Dad and good for Ray. Speaking of Dad, it, I'm sure it would be a pretty proud moment for him too. Yeah, it is. He loves the horse so much. And it's just good to be able to get a win in town for him. And what about Canto de Guerra on Sunday? Wasn't that a fighting win? Yeah, he, um, he was a little bit cantankerous to start with, but he, um, he fought on really good and, yeah, really liked the horse. And he's always freshened up after his run so well, so hopefully he can stay in for a bit longer. Now, I've, my memory serves me right, it's Stevie that's on Act Innocent tomorrow, but Ray's given that horse a pretty good push to us. Yeah, she worked really good um, earlier, late last week, and um, she's drawn a good gate, so hopefully Stevie can just... Pretty much do the same as what I've done, slot in a bit closer and she should finish off on that scalp side track really well. Oh, pressure's on him, well done. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> there is Shelby Botel, spoken like the trainer there and uh, of course she would know the team oh so well. Act innocent tomorrow for those uh, punters playing along at home is a $7 chance in uh, race number nine at Pinjarra the last. Well, where is one more to come here from Ascot but it is Al Magico who takes out race number eight. If you're feeling low, then give it a go. You know when you're doing a song about a small town. Try 